Welcome to my channel today. How are you doing, guys? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. I have a great message from the universal God. Today's topic, how to win battles. Fifth dimension. How to win battles, fifth dimension. Today, if you can read Psalms 18, verse 39. For I have girded you strength before the battle. And you have subdued anyone that rises against you. So guys, the main key is this is a, we are in, we are trying to shed light on the darkness because the whole battle is Satan. We're trying to get this world back from Satan. So we had a lot of power, we, we haven't used it. So when you use the words of God, it's much easier than the third dimension way. The third dimension way, a lot of us were taught, but Lucifer had a hand in our religions. So he taught us all this uh, slavery and wishing for hope. You can do that way, God please help me but Psalms, you are a God of the Most High. That's John 10, 34. Jesus himself said it. So we never really use our powers. I went to listen to some affirmation uh, music yesterday. And when I went on there, I always look at the comments. So most of the comments are pretty good. They're good affirmation, but then there was this guy. He said, I am a I am an addict and I'm praying for God to deliver me. Things wrong with that. When you use the word I am, that's God's name. So when you say I am an addict, what did you say first? You'll never be healed. Because you keep saying you are an addict. So you have to say, I am not an addict. I am no longer an addict. God, thank you for delivering from me this and move on. If you're and live of your spirit, not of your not of your flesh. If you're in spirit, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be addicted to anything. And also do your fasting for three days and whatever you're addicted to will go away. Because when you fast, you're not supposed to do nothing. Easy way to break addictions. Uh, another thing I spotted was uh, I went back to CNN. Yeah, I do. I go. I go. Uh, so I found another way which will help us with uh, CNN. For one, we know CNN is negative. So when you go on CNN, know that the people on there mostly are of Satan, and the whole thing is of Satan. But how you win? is an easier way instead of like ridiculing the person oh you should be for trump you should be the you should get on there you should uh easier way is pray or use your meditation and say god i thank you for the 11 million subscribers now seeing the light and now uh seeing that trump is a good president you can do that you can win battles that way there's a law say reap what you sow. So watch the energy that you put out because you only attract back that energy. So use your higher frequency. Higher frequency is not negative. Higher frequency is love, peace, joy, happiness, abundance. So you can get 11 million people in one strike if you do that. I'm going to give you some examples how people in the light even save myself. How did Donald Trump win this, win the last presidency? Knowing what we know now, how did he win? Because people of light prayed or they meditated for it to manifest and it manifested. We know how the cheating is. They did that last year. Really think about that. So it doesn't it doesn't take a lot of people to win against a whole army. 
Moses, when he fought against Egypt, did he did he did he do anything physical? <laughs> Use your power. So when you have the power of God and you're setting truth, when you're when you're doing truth, you don't have to do much. He just had a stick. They had a whole army. Martin Luther King, who was before his time, did he use weapons? They were Martin Luther King. He didn't tell us about the meditation and the prayer and all that. But now we know this. We know we can meditate and we know we can talk into existing things with faith as long as it's of life and it's of truth and it's per the word. It's that easy. So that's how easy it is. Just like forgiving. I told you, you don't have to go to people to forgive. So these people that's lost, we have powers to, con to control them because they are Satan. We control Satan. Satan doesn't control us. The only way Satan controls you, you give away. Your, he says something false and you accept it or you keep watching it. If you keep watching it, then you believe it because you wouldn't watch something not truthful. So I just wanted to share these easy techniques, how we can win back. We talk to into existence things faithfully, believe it, and don't worry about it. Don't worry about how it's done either. Leave your eat. That's the ego. I'm about uh, humanity and bettering humanity. I let God take care of how he's going to take care, however he takes care. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. It's not vengeance is yours. It says vengeance is mine. So we just, we just keep praying for light to be shine where we see the darkness and we go on about our day. This way your energy stays high frequency. When you're pointing a finger and all this, your, loot, your, your, your energy is so low. Keep your energy high. This is fifth dimension. But I'm just teaching you ways to uh, fight battles. Something to note. Why the shutdown? And why all the... Because look at all the people getting arrested. That's another thing that uh, media did. Normally, when people get arrested, you don't know about it. But what media did, they took the evil that they wanted to use evil for and kept showing you that. And you had a false image of what people getting arrested is really like. I've been arrested before, but nobody knew about it. That's the real way you get arrested. Nobody knows about it except you and the police. That's what's going on behind your scenes. So really think about why you're not hearing a lot of black. They are they why all this uh, distraction is going on. The smoke screen. They are arresting people behind the scenes. They are interrogating people behind the scenes. Remember, there's a terrorist act on America that just happened. But they're doing it the way the way. The way that law officers has always done it. When they do drug raids, you don't never see it on camp. They're doing stuff. Trust the plan. So, once again, get your the ego wants to see everything. That's it's not about you. It's about humanity. I don't worry about how. The universal God takes care of it or who he uses to do it. We just manifest it and we just manifest life how we want. If we want a peaceful life, that's how you should be walking towards. If you want wealth, you walk, keep walking towards a, a wealth. So you, you shed light on the dark by, by praying and meditating, but do away with the hope. <laughs> you now pray victory. 
So read the Psalms 1839. That's why we never use the word to, to win against the light, to win against the darkness. Sorry. It sounds so easy, but it is that easy. I used to try it the other way. But the other way is much more harmful to yourself and much more, it, it doesn't bring you what you want. When you do it God's way, you don't worry. Life becomes just like you say. Pete, look at this in the morning. <laughs> I pray for peaceful and look around me. It's so peaceful. I feel a joy. I feel a joy early in the morning like this. I don't worry about anything. It's the same for everyone. And the more people we get doing the higher frequency and teaching. So even your family members. God, I thank you for my family members finally seeing the light. And, and you can mention someone. someone. And someone came to me and asked me for advice of what... That's it. Another thing, I'm going I'm to tell you how, how it works too and we don't think about this. Have you ever just been in deep thought about someone like you was thinking about someone? You didn't call them and you didn't interact, but out the blue, this person, somehow you run into them or they call you or they, that's how, that's because you meditated it in your thoughts, your imagination. We have that power. People not of God, you control you control your thoughts as long as it's of good and righteous, you can control them to come to be with. And then the ones that don't convert, they get destroyed. So that's what happens. The people like you you keep shining your light, you keep putting it out. As this as the uh, world keeps going more towards this fifth dimension. Those ones that refuse to repent or acknowledge the universal God or acknowledge what's, what we're going, they will be destroyed. But they have many chances. It's not like overnight. And let God, God himself is the one that's doing it. But everything is going as planned. The awakening, I told you back in March, so it is November. I will not now go to relatives trying to still wake them up because the awakening been since March. God himself will show these people. You don't worry. You just manifest what you want. We keep doing it. The third dimension. Hey, you need to come. I told you. To look at your energy. Met, create life how you want. When you do your meditation, see that person in your meditation. See yourself conversing. See your see them in that energy with your energy. See you and them celebrating. Satan has control of their mind because Satan keeps putting it in. Put out your energy. Your godly energy. You understand? We have to use our godly energy. The one that man has hidden from us, of Satan. They kept using their energy of black magic. It's more in your face. It's that low frequency. Our energy is a godly energy. Let me remind you again, Moses had no weapon. Gandhi had no weapon. Read up on Gandhi. That's the secret. You will see your life start to change. Stop to stop worrying about relatives. Change yourself to change everything. The more better your thoughts, the more better your life. These people, it could be six months, it could be, you'll see that they will ease back into your life. But they have to repent and find the true God. The one that the one they are now is of Satan. But they will see the light as God.
God is God is converting the world to the fifth dimension. Just sit back, enjoy, and stop worrying. You guys take care. That was my message today. How you can win with your godly energy and stop using that third dimension, that third dimension low frequency. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.